in step five of the setup guide, you must add an HTTP postback uh, that points to our server. So this is the URL that we'll give you, and your URL will be slightly different on the end. Uh, this will have your app name. But you'll want to highlight that and just copy it. And then if you're using the campaign builder, we have instructions for that and also for the legacy web forms. But I'll go ahead and take you through the uh, instruction part. So for the campaign builder, uh, here's my, my form. And what I've done is I, I have a sequence that I've added, and then I just connected that. Now, your, your campaigns might be different, but uh, basically after a web form submitted, we need to send an HTTP post to the URL that was given to you. So this is the URL, and you'll need to add email address. Contact ID should already be populated for you. Uh, you'll also add email and then just merge the email field by doing the merge field and that's located under the uh, most common fields and just click email and that will insert there. Uh, once you have this HTTP post set up you can just do um, send an HTTP post and make sure that it did run successfully so that's good to go. If you've created this post in previous campaigns you can just copy the post from a other campaign if you name the post like you know send to iTracker 360 all the posts will look exactly the same and so that's for convenience um, after you do that you can just hit back and make sure it's published and you know ready to go but that's basically how you set up the HTTP post back to be sent to our server uh, if you're using the drag and drop web form you'll go to actions and then you'll hit add new action and send an HD post to another server you'll paste the post URL in here and just click save uh, I already have one in here defined so I'm just going to delete the one that I just made so that's how you do the drag and drop form and then for the classic web forms uh, just set up an action and the same thing just click send an HTTP post to another server and paste the URL in there like that uh, so that is pretty much it for the HTTP post and I'll have another video later about how to debug the HTTP post if you don't think it's sending or if you need to check to see what what's happened. Uh, thanks.